up everybody? So listen, I have this little thing that I've been working on for a while, various iterations, we call it the Brew Buddy. All right, so the Brew Buddy is a project that I am using to help me with home brewing, right? Temperature monitoring, help me sort of track important metrics about my home brews. Um, this is a Type K thermocouple, which is a great, um, thermometer that is very, very heat resistant. I need that for the kind of work that I'm doing here. I have a 2.2 inch TFT from Adafruit that I use to display everything on the screen. And then the brains of this, one of my favorites, the particle photon, great little piece of technology uh, as well. And all of this is on a custom PDC, PDC, PCB that I designed with Eagle uh, and that I cut with my other mill, which is a desktop CNC mill that I'm a huge fan of. Uh, I did all the soldering myself. There's a few tricks to soldering or to when you're building PCBs with the other mill, like for instance, all the electrical uh, connections into the pins have to be on the bottom, so there's a crap ton of vias on this board. Uh, I'm going to redo it for a couple of reasons. Um, one is that I inadvertently shorted this current board when I did some tomfoolery to try to do it the case. Uh, but another is because I don't like the current configuration of the screen sort of being out here. It makes it really challenging for me to do anything with it. So I want to modify the design to sort of move the thermocouple out to the side. Right, okay, you can see that. Move the thermocouple over this way a little bit and then move the screen down this way so I can snap it in. So I'm gonna walk through some of the changes that I end up making in Eagle, uh, and then we'll do a little, uh, little time lapse, because I'm a big fan of time lapse, a little time lapse of me remilling the board, and then some, uh, some, uh, some of the actual soldering work as well. So. intention with this here is not for this to be a tutorial about Eagle itself. There are actually some great tutorials out on, out really all over the place, but I recommend the ones at sparkfun.com. Uh, those are fantastic tutorials. I'll, I'll post some links to those here in the notes. Uh, and it really helps because Eagle can be very daunting. A year ago, uh, I was really overwhelmed by this tool. It doesn't have the greatest user experience, but uh, really in that time I've learned a lot. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm not intimidated by the tool anymore. So a couple of other important things to know. Red wires represent the um, top of the board, blue wires on the bottom of the boards. Now one of the cardinal rules of Eagle is not to overlap your, uh, overlap your wires, right? Because that represents an electrical connection that sort of runs rampant all over the place. You need those traces to be clean. That's why when you see overlapping, you're seeing overlaps of a different color. The other important thing to know is specific to the other mill, which is what I'm doing, but if you're milling on the other mill, you wanna make sure that all of your connections to through hole components, like these components, are through the bottom of the board. That's why all you'll see blue pins going all over the place. So I've got my photon in the middle, my uh, thermocouple, uh, on the upper left and then on the top of the uh, on the top of the screen my 2.2 inch TFT so uh, that's really interesting that's sort of the the base here so what I'm doing now is I'm gonna select the move tool so that I can expand uh, the size of this board here a little bit this is gonna give me some more real estate to work with uh, because I know that I need to move the thermocouple board down to the bottom right so I'm gonna go ahead and select that after I've expanded the frame to move it out and then I'm also going to go ahead uh, and I'm going to move it down because the TFT is very large it's going to take up a lot of space and I'm going to need to move it over to the right as well so uh, before I move that TFT over I select my thermocouple again and I'll go ahead and move that down uh, to the bottom of the board now you'll notice that this is making a whole bunch of mess of wires on the board. I'm going to fix it up. I'm going to go and delete all these wires or rip these wires up in a minute and redo them. That'll be faster than trying to preserve all these connections that I've got now. But what I can do at this point is I'm going to go ahead and move my TFT over. I'm going to rotate it actually first, excuse me, because I want it to be facing down. And then I'm going to go ahead and move it over 
uh, which is what you see right here. So all you do want you to do to move it over or to rotate is to just right click uh, twice to rotate two times. And that's where I've got that. So now I've got a bit of a mess. Uh, I'm going to remove a bunch of wires. I'm not going to use the delete command because uh, that'll delete my air wires uh, as well. What I want to ultimately do is use the rip up, which will preserve those air wires. Uh, and you'll see that as we transition into a bit of a speed up mode here in just a second. So after some additional cleanup, here's the final result. You'll notice that all of the pins are on the bottom layer. All of the, uh, the, the trace is actually going into individual boards. Uh, I moved the uh, tracing that's sort of representing the name, logo of the board up to the top left where there's a little bit extra space. Uh, still, I've reduced it. I have a decent number of vias. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven now, so that's not too bad. I think I had like 15, 16 before. And then I also added some vias here to actually represent the, the holes for the actual components themselves. So for me to actually mount the TFT and then the thermocouple on the board. So to give me a little bit of extra stability there. So that's looking good. I'm gonna take it over to the Mac Minity and uh, mill it out on the other mill.
Well, all right, there we have it. So all the soldering is done. Components are mounted, and for the moment of truth, let's go ahead and just uh, plug this bad boy in and see what happens. So should load up a little bit of a display screen. That's perfect. Got the load screen there. And it's gonna say it's waiting for brew. So I'm gonna open up my little uh, mobile app here. Subject for a future video, click on new brew. Go to the particle cloud and things are good to go. So the thermocouple is, it's reading the temperature from the thermocouple here. So I can uh, hold on to the end here, heat this thing up quite a bit more. Uh, time elapsing, getting some temperature history uh, information here as well. But I uh, think we're good to go. So I just got to mount, uh, put some screw mounts here, but it looks like everything lined up pretty well. And uh, there we go, custom PCB designed in Eagle, milled out with an other mill.